half time most people were saying, what the hell happened there? Can you enlighten us? Oh, I thought it, we had a really good, probably a, obviously our best half of football. Um, uh, we didn't complete our first two, but after that we, you know, we really surged. And I was really happy for them um, because it was hard going up to Townsville. It's a hard road trip, Townsville, and it's a short turnaround for us. But um, you know, we just prepared really well and played our best football. And um, you know, if you put yourself in that position, sometimes you, you, you know, you can get right on top, which we did. Can you be totally satisfied leading 32 lot, but then not scoring in the second half? Yeah, obviously, you, you know, there's things you want to look at, and we're a couple of those. Tries weren't happy with. I thought the first seven minutes with our junior, we did a great job. That was the key. You know, if they come straight out and got a try or two in that first ten minutes of the second half, well then, you know, you, you, you just start legging them up into the game. But um, I thought we scrambled really well. It was like, you know, the old game of two halves. We had all the ball in the first half and they had it all in the second half in the field position. But I thought we scrambled really well and hung in there and. And um, it was a good reward for them. And so after your best win of the season, theoretically, what did you say to the team after full-time hook? Oh, just basically that. It was a performance. It showed a lot of character after, obviously, last week was one of our worst performances for, for the season. So um, for them to bounce back like, back like that. The other thing was I, I just was really happy that they played for, for Macca as part of the night. and. Um, sort of encapsulated everything that, you know, Mac has done in his career, that they played for each other and, you know, they were all good teammates tonight and, you know, it, it, it's great for him but it points to what's possible for our guys. Well, you've been saying for a little while that you're almost there, it's not far off and that probably stunned a lot of us that first half tonight, but were you not as surprised at that? Did you think that was coming? Oh, surprised at the scoreline in the NRL you don't ever expect it. You know, to lead 32 nil at half time, um, but you could feel it all week the way we prepared, and and you know we we're really disappointed with the way we played last week against the Cowboys, and um, so it was important we responded tonight, and um, and so the score line was a surprise, but for our club, I thought it was it was a really good response and a um, you know really good message for ourselves, not, you know, not worrying about whatever, what anyone else thinks that, you know, we're capable of, um, you know, playing good football and, and winning games. What we said about Zach's performance last week during the week and what not the way he sort of plays tonight was pretty impressive. Yeah, I mean, when we win or lose, it's not about individuals. You know, everyone's going to have a bad day at some, some stage during the year. So... We went up there as a team last week and got beat as a team and, and tonight we pulled together as a team and got a really tough win so I'm not interested in individuals and what happens. We, we all need each other at some stage during the year and, and um, I thought our 17 tonight did a really good job together. How many just individuals? I can ask you about one other. Was that Junior's best game in first grade so far? Um, I'd have to have another look at it sometimes after the game. And to be honest, he had some really nice touches, but um, yeah, I don't know. Maka, um, a night to remember, no doubt. Yeah, um, yeah, well, yeah. What Hooks touched on earlier, I think, um, just the playing group, the staff, the whole organisation did a really good job of, um, you know celebrating the week first and foremost but also putting in a strong team performance after last week was really disappointing and that's all you can do is repay someone I guess milestones his performance but it wasn't just about me tonight I appreciate everything he's done but it's a team environment and you know we needed to get back on track and we did that tonight really well and yeah hook touched on it as a surprise the first obviously the first half against a strong team but um, yeah very grateful to sit back and have a few beers and a chat and enjoy it potentially get a bit of a roll on from a game like that now? Oh, I'd like to think so, but you know that's the tough thing about the NRL is you know being that consistent good team, I think um, you know you've got to take out milestone games and do it for people each, you know, be able to get back to work with it regardless of milestone games and be able to do that week in, week out. The the top teams can really do that at the moment where 
we're really striving to get there and we've got a good balance of team of youth and experience and we need to be able to back, back that up. We've got a good chance to have a break, rep round and then come back into it. But yeah, just enjoy the night and then um, get back to it. And you start in the sense that those young guys, it's been a bit of a tough school for them, but Junior and Cody, you start to sense when you're out there with them, they're just starting to feel a bit more comfortable in their role and a bit more comfortable to sort of attack it because that's, that's what they were doing tonight. Oh, yeah, I think being comfortable within being playing in a role, but then not being comfortable and just being happy. I think um, in young guys, it is hard to get that consistency week in, week out. Just, um, you know, life lessons along the way about how hard it can be in the NRL level and everyone's going to have their ups and downs, but as a collective group, we need to be better and, you know, right across the board, doesn't matter how old you are and, and striving to get into that top four, finals football, and um, those guys bring a lot of energy and they did that tonight. Okay, we played so much for you with Ben Hunt. What are you seeing his game right now? How, how do you assess just how well he's going? Um, the thing with Honey is I think it's... Um, he's just he's just playing with a bit of a slow sort of mind. He's just reading the game a lot better. He's just not running all the time. He's got to read. He's, he gets a sense of how the the team's attacking, how they're defending. It's just you see that as as halfbacks and and playmakers into the early 30s, how they can really the good ones can do that, and he's certainly doing that. But yeah, complete competitor. Boys love playing with him. He turns up every week. Um, he's had some hard lessons along the way, but as he's getting some great rewards now from a lot of hard work.